What would a world without processor leaders look like? Well, we would have to unwind at least the last 200 years of human progress. For all the glory given to the bold visionary leadership and financial success of Henry Bessemer, Andrew Carnegie, John D. Rockefeller, and Henry Ford, I believe that the Industrial Revolution was driven more by engineers or processors. These brave leaders were not the powerful visionaries or operators, the kings, queens, or nobles and merchants of the day, but they transformed our world more in any one century than in all of the centuries of human progress before. This is the power of processor leadership, and modern society could not exist without it. In fact, despite the media's leadership stereotypes and spotlights, we are more dependent on leaders who think in terms of system process, repeatability, and precision than we ever have been. And that's exactly what processors do. It's how they're wired. Processors are at their peak when they are systematizing and supervising. Unlike visionaries and operators, processors have the ability to stick with projects for the long haul, continuing to extract value and doing so ever more efficiently. Where visionaries can drive ideation and, de and decision and operators can drive action and results, the realm of lasting change is the purview of processor leaders. They have this uncanny ability to build long-term changes into the very fiber of the company, creating an immense capacity within the company. In doing so, they unlock true scalability. Any other style could hire five to 25 people before a processor hired her first, but she would beat everybody else to 100 and leave the rest in the dust at 1,000. And she would train and retain them better than anyone else. Her clinical perspective, ruthless objectivity, staggering precision, they all give her the edge over any other style when the numbers get large. Processors are exceptional and wonderful in so many ways but they also have their challenges. So in the next video, I'm gonna show you how the strengths of a processor, they actually become highly problematic in team environments.